Hello. So I have three boxes in front of me. These bottom two boxes are from Goodwill. Uh, this top box may be from Goodwill, but it doesn't have a Goodwill return address. So we're going to open that first and see what we have. Um, as a matter of fact, it doesn't have any return information as far as who it's from. It just has an address. And yeah, I could have looked the address up, but I'm just like, eh, it'll be a surprise. Just open it up. How bad could it be, right? I mean, it's not like it's going to be like live animals or anything. All right, so we have a Speed Champion set and an Advent Calendar set. These, I be I'm almost positive, were from a Goodwill. Um, I mean, they typically will rubber band things, and I see on this one there is a little bit left of something here, which may have been like an uh, inventory number or something. I don't know. They did a bad job of removing it. I don't know exactly how. Anyway. Um, the Speed Champion set is sealed, uh, and it is a set from 2018, so it's not a super new set. I'm pretty sure I did not already own it, so that was kind of nice. The Advent Calendar is on the old side, if I remember correctly. It is, oh, I'm going to turn it around, look at it this way, uh, da, 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 2006, perhaps, uh, set number... 7904 so it's in the four digit era of set numbers and it is not completely new um at least one of the spots had been open and they've got it taped shut and whatnot let's see we can actually yeah and see it still has a plastic tray in there which did they tape the tray in somehow i don't know what they did there we go it's fighting me. It doesn't want to come out. There we go. So a number of these spots are still there. A couple of them are gone. So it'll be interesting to see which ones are gone. But these are kind of neat. And actually, here's one and here's one. So maybe that one's supposed to go there. And maybe it's more complete than I thought. This one has some sort of a city thing instruction in it or something. So there's not two next to that one. So... Perhaps it's only missing the one, but how about this one? This looks awful big. No, that's a lot of stuff. So, yeah, it may be just missing the one. But it'll be interesting to go through that and figure out what's what. And it's an old advent calendar, and those are always cool. Anyway, now we're on to the actual, I know our Goodwill, and I now know these are as well, but I didn't know going into it. These are two lots that I picked up, ironically, from the same Goodwill. Ugh. And, uh, yeah, it's just bulk loose Lego. Let's see what we have. And I'm not going to look too deep in these because, well, I have to have space to deal with them. But let's see. It looks like just the one bag for the entire box. So I'm not going to lift it out. But we'll just open it up. And look at that. Right on the top, we've got sealed bags. Always nice to see the sealed bags. That's a large, that's a non-Lego piece. That's, that's from a uh, shuttle, I'm pretty sure. One of the Imperial shuttle sets. Uh, here is another set. Is this a minifig or it's a non like It's a Halo figure. So, yeah, I got some Halo figures now. Looks like there's some Bionicle type stuff in here. Here's a minifig, though. He's missing a hand and a helmet, most likely, but there he is. There's another one here. He's missing a hand, but he has hair and a hat. It's a hair hat. Um. Yeah, so another uh, Halo looking guy. Yeah. Well, anyway, that is for this box. Let's slide this one out of the way and open up the next one. And see what we see. Another packing slip right at the top. This one they decided to not closed. Okay. They didn't do that to the last bag, but they did it to this one. Maybe somebody different uh, sealed them. I mean, it came from the same store, so. So I can see right off the bat we have instructions at the top. That's always kind of a neat thing, although that one, that's not Lego. Brick Tech. Oh, wonderful. So I'll probably have some non Lego in here. There's some sort of a cord or something. That's not Lego. Okay, well. If it's Lego, which I'd have to look closely, I think it's not. But if it was, it's a completely new windscreen, but I think it's not Lego. 
Um, here's another bag over here. This one is Lego. So there's another sealed bag of Lego in there. That's always a bonus. A little chest, nothing in it, so there's no treasure that time. There's a little uh, bullet for a uh, Nerf gun. What is this? This looks like another Halo guy. If I can get him over, although he's very... Well, maybe not a Halo guy, but he's somebody else, but he's not Lego. I'm not seeing a lot else that's interesting right on the surface, but I mean, you know, this is like 16 pounds a piece. There's going to be stuff down below. Here's another non-Lego guy with a Lego piece stuck in his hand. Or actually, it's a non-Lego piece, but I've seen some of these guys in sets before, in lots before. But yeah. All sorts of interesting stuff. This looks like it's a non-Lego. But yeah. More stuff to go through. Always fun. And a Call of Duty set in a, a Ziploc. The instructions for it. So I'm like, I don't know if it's worth anything, but there you go. Anyway, that is this haul. Please leave your comments down below and I will get back to any questions and answer them as quick as I can. Thank you.